Pivotal meeting next week. Let's bring in Dino Coast. He is a special advisor to the CEO of CLS Bank International. Thanks for joining us. What's going to happen next week? 25? Good morning. Probably 20. Yeah, probably 25. I'm not sure that that's the right move, though, but that seems to be What's where, the right where move? they're going. The right move is probably to do nothing. Yeah, because not 50. No, definitely not 50. Look, you, we've got a situation right now where the financial conditions are tightening. Now, uh, I mean, some, some Fed speakers have said, you know, treasuries have come down. That's an easing of financial conditions. No, that's not the case. That's the case about flight to quality, flight to safety. The banks are hoarding reserves. They're not going to be lending. This is, this is a time to think about growth going down, not accelerating. See what's going on in regional banks. The Dow's now down. The, the, uh, when you get wide spreads and you get sort of, um, I don't know, volatile trading in very staid investments, what does that say? It tells you that people are worried about that they, they have the wrong positioning. It tells you that they are changing their hedges. They're trying to hedge. They're trying to catch up with the risk profile that they want to have rather than the one that they have. Now, you know, I mean, I work for CLS. We're a huge uh, foreign exchange settlement operation. And our, our volumes have ticked up quite a bit over the last couple of weeks as this has progressed. So, you, you know, you're seeing it in equities. You're seeing it in bonds. You're seeing, you, you are definitely seeing it in FX. The, uh, the terminal rate, in your view, is now it's, it's, what? It's, it's, I mean, we're not that far from it. I mean, because, you know, the Fed's, I mean, look, you know, the data right now looks okay. But if you go back and, you know, Steve Leisman probably has done this work at some point. If you go back and look at the Green Book, which is the Fed's forecast, you look at it in middle of 2001, they were forecasting, you know, sort of growth for the rest of the year. We had already been in recession for nine months when that forecast was made. Middle of 2008, same thing. If you go back and you look at the Fed's forecast in, in the summer of 08, the question was, can we avoid recession? Maybe yes, maybe no. We had been in recession for nine months when that forecast was made. The data get revised. You know, and you will see at some point later this year, early next year, there will be da massive data revisions. And right now, we think we're okay. We're probably, you know, in the early stages of a recession, or we will soon be there. Do you think that, that the Fed itself or, or San Francisco Fed, is there, is there some egg on the face of the, of the whole there, institution? I mean, look, there should be. This is not a novel risk. We're talking about in, uh, interest rate mismatches. We're talking about a bond portfolio that was going to lose money if interest rates went up. Well, so this is not, this is not rocket science. The California State Banking Department is the chief regulator for the bank. The Fed is the, the, the holding company regulator, so they, consolid, they do supervision on a consolidated basis. It's a fair question. Where were the regulators? Why, why didn't they pick up on this earlier? Uh, and yeah, there is some egg on the face. Because regulators enforce regulations. So uh, there are regulations. We, we know that. Well, they, do we need more regulations or uh, better regulators? Uh, we certainly need... Uh, more imagination, better awareness, uh, more critical thinking about what can go wrong. Because, look, when you go from zero interest rates to four and a half in such a short amount of time, you know, not everybody's going to be able to adjust their portfolios. And so this was kind of a, you know, a risk that, you know, sh you know, you know it's not novel. It, you, know, you know, the regulators should have been anticipating it and should be anticipating that somebody is going to be caught you know, with their pants. But so you can, we can look, we can blame the supervisors, but then the question is if the regulations don't allow the supervisors to actually take steps, and you look at some of the, the regulations which effectively were loosened uh, during this period. Now, there's a question mark about how much you think that played a role in this. Well, I, yeah. You know, could the regulators have done more? I would say yes, and we'll learn more. I mean, to, to their credit, the Fed has already said that they're going to look at this, and by May 1, we'll have a report about the supervision of this bank. So we are going to get some more information. But, you know, even, even the existing regulations allow the primary regulator, California State, right. the Fed as the holding company, to, you know, look into and assess and judge what is going on, you know, to Rick's point about, you know, who was the risk manager? What kind of risk controls <coughs> did they have? You know, that's just normal supervision. You don't need extra authority to do that kind of an assessment. I mean, there's a... I don't know where you put the put. It used to be a stock put. That's gone. But this, this feels like a put to me. Like, I think the going gets a little bit rough, and oh, you know, we're going we're gonna to take our ball and go home and not, not raise any more rates. It's, well, it doesn't seem that 
if they were convinced we had to go to the mid fives or the high fives for inflation, I don't see how this changes things. The minute that, you know you have a uh, an incident like this, suddenly all all you know their their resolve is gone. The question is, I think, in a way, will this change their forecast? So you know, will the so they can change? they can hide behind that and say, well, well but yeah, but to be fair, I mean, you know, this is a this is a change in the environment, right? If, if, if you know, if the financial system is shifting to a much tighter stance, yeah. then it's it, you know, it is a fair point to say, what's this going to be the impact on the economy? Do we need right. to tighten as much as we? This can? might be worth fifty or hundred basis points, maybe. Uh, you bet.